Hello and happy Monday. Glad to have you. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon. Unfortunately, this is actually Monday. I missed last Friday and hopefully you guys didn't stay up all week and worried about me that I was hurt. But I did want to come out with a video for last week and I know these videos are not extremely exciting, but they're very useful if you are somebody looking to update firmware and something. So I want to make sure I kind of build a retinue of uh, videos that all have how to update firmware from different products. So this is going to be another firmware updating video. If you don't need to update your firmware, you can shut it off now. If you do, go ahead and uh, watch through it and hopefully it will be helpful. What we're going to talk about today is the updating the firmware of the Fluke 1770 series power quality meter. So that would be the 1773, 1775, and the 1777 for now. So let's jump into it. I'll kind of show you how to download the right firmware file, and then we'll switch over to the instrument itself, and you can see it update. So here we go. What we're going to do, we go to fluke.com. How do we uh, download the firmware? We go under hover over support go down to download software updates click that and we can scroll down find something that says fluke 1773 75 77 power quality analyzer software and firmware click now we come into here if we're trying to update the firmware we're going to be going for this file right here called fluke 177x it's going to be maybe a different version by the time you do it firmware and it's going to be a .bin file. Go ahead and click that and you will download it. Once it's downloaded, you're going to see you're going to need to take a USB file, make a directory called fluke177x, put that, um, create a folder named that, and then put this file inside the folder. From there, we're going to go ahead and download it. Once this downloads, I will show you that exact thing. Okay, I'll actually just show it to you right now. So I've got this thumb drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it a fluke 177x. Make sure that is named exactly the same, and it is. And once this downloads, we're going to drop it right in. Okay, from my download file, I'm just going to drag from my other screen, drop it right in, and you're going to see the transfer. Once it's transferred in here, you're going to have this uh, firmware.bin. One thing you do want to be aware of, if you download this firmware more than one time, it'll start adding numbers um, in parentheses under it. It does not like those. You're going, to, you're going to need to go back in and delete those or get the original firmware that you download for the first time. So if for some reason you accidentally download it two or three times, only the first time will make it happy. Make sure you don't have anything that's like, um, you know, something like this, like a one or a two in there. Always make sure you delete that and it just says exactly what it did the first time you downloaded it. Okay, now that I have it on my flash drive, I'm gonna export this and get over into the instrument. See you there. Okay, I am now in front of my 1777 and what we're gonna do is update the firmware. So first thing I'm gonna do is just show you where you can see what firmware you have. So if you click on you're on the home screen, you click on the info button. Right here it says firmware version, and you can see 2.0, okay? We're gonna upgrade that to 2.1, so I just take my flash drive that I had, stick it in, and it should recognize it. It says firmware update, touch that, and new version, do you wanna do it? Yes, I do, confirm, confirm. and let it process. Okay, let's see if we got it successfully updated. So now you can see it says firmware version 2.1. So we were successful. One note I would say is, um, one thing you wanna make sure you do is you have it connected to power whenever you are going to update any of our firmwares because you don't want the batteries to go dead halfway through a firmware update. Uh, that's really bad news. So always make sure you're plugged into a live source um, when you update firmware. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a great rest of your week or weekend, depending on when you're watching this, and we'll talk to you on the next Friday. Take care.